Hey everybody, Dan, Gloria, I hope y'all can hear me okay as we get started. Uh, we're going to be covering Moxie and Press tonight. I hope you uh, uh, like what you see and I hope you will use it to make your business go to the next level, hopefully. Um, if you have any questions, please just interrupt and say hey and tell me your name and we will go from there. Uh, don't have anybody in the classroom, but I do have people on Zoom. So welcome to all of y'all that are here with us tonight. Um, Moxie and Press is a tool that is kind of given to you on a silver platter when you get right down to it. There's very little you have to do with it. Um, the good thing is that when the status of a listing changes, uh, to one of the ones that we talk to, you will automatically receive marketing material in your email the next day. So um, just know that it is a very, very handy tool to have. All right. So basically what it is, it's marketing automation. Stand out with the magic of marketing automation is what it touts. And the thing is, with anything that is just listed, open house, price reduced, or just sold, you'll get a marketing packet that is automatically done for you that is um, in compliance with all of our marketing rules. They're delivered with um, marketing guides. Uh, look at it as your marketing coach. It kind of gives you the tools you need to uh, market yourself in uh, social media or otherwise. Uh, and it's a very valuable tool to have. You'll get customized brokerage, uh, brokerage specific uh, packages that are uh, in line with our best practices. They will help you maximize each listing's visibility. And they will hopefully help you to win the next listing uh, that you may uh, be in the market to grab or get a hold of. What happens is you put a new listing in and the listing goes live. You get branded materials that are automated or automatically created and sent to you. And these are targeted materials that are created to promote your listing um, in the market. And all that stuff will arrive in your inbox by the next morning. Some of you may have already seen some of these uh, marketing pieces land in your inbox. If you had something that was started this year or had a, uh, an active status after January 1st, uh, when they moved everything over, if it was active, then that's great. Uh, if it was pending, it didn't get processed over to the automation. So just know if you had something pending, I had two pending at the beginning of the year that didn't get kicked over. And what we'll do is we'll talk about how to create those marketing packs for you uh, in a way that will help you um, better uh, be uh, better be able to market those and you won't have to worry about being kind of left out in the cold, so to speak. Additionally, the listing is updated, materials are automatically updated whenever the data is changed. So if you go in and you create something, um, when you schedule an open house, open house marketing materials will be created for you automatically. If you drop the price, the price reduction marketing materials will be delivered to you automatically. And when you close that property, you'll also get just sold. Um, marketing materials that will arrive within four days after the listing is no longer active. That's important because you may be expecting them to come next day the way the other three parts have come, new listing, open house, and drop the price. Those will all come the same day or the next day. But then when something's closed, it has to wait four days before it kicks everything out. That's how long it takes the system to process. However, however as I show you in a little bit, you can go in and create that packet earlier than the four days, and it actually um, will allow you to kind of get on top of things a little bit quicker. So say you get a new listing. In the old days, it took you time 
you had to spend time to create the, the images that you were going to use. Um, you had to hope that all of that stuff is professional and brand compliant. Um, and then you had to distribute that information out. But now with Moxie and Press, we get rid of all of that. It doesn't take you any time at all. Everything you get delivered to your inbox is beautiful. It's brand compliant. It's GREP compliant. Uh, everything that is put out, we know is in, in line with everything that needs to be followed. Um, it's easy to distribute. Um, it fulfills a marketing promise that we make to our clients when we say, you know, look, this is what we're going to do to sell your property. And hopefully that will deliver us future referrals because we get uh, good reviews from the work we do for our current clients when they see how all of this works seamlessly together. So the marketing guides that we will see are, are just listed. Um, and with that, you get a property website, you get an e-postcard, you get a flyer, you get a virtual tour, postcard, social media. You'll get that stuff that's created for you and you'll be able to use it in your social media or wherever you need to. All you have to do is download the hard copy of the images and put them up where you need them to be put up. Same way with an open house. If you uh, put an open house out there, you'll also get the um, marketing materials that you can post anywhere you want to. Price reduction, same thing. You get the same material that you can kick out. Again, everything is brand compliant. It's got your information on it. It's got the brokerage information on it. And it's got information that will help you promote that property. And then when something is sold, you get the just sold that you can use for circle prospecting or anything else to get your name out there in the neighborhood and hopefully find those people that are in the neighborhood that are like, wow, this house just sold for that. Let me put my house on the market and see what we can do. So just know everything is professional. Everything looks great. Everything is brand compliant. And the important thing about that is you don't lift a finger. All you have to be able to do is access the um, marketing portal through, in, through um, the hub. And I'll go through that in a moment. And everything you get, fully branded marketing packages created for every listing event that you have. Delivered directly to your inbox. Continuously updated whenever a change occurs. And you get credit for everything. And that's the good thing. They don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but you're going to get credit for everything looking professional and well created. All right. So that's the end of the PowerPoint. Let's jump into the actual demonstration. Everybody should be able to see my screen, I hope. If you can't, please let me know. Okay, so we're on Hub. Again, on Hub, this is where we start whenever we go into Moxie. Uh, the good thing is that a couple of things I like to point out in all of my classes, whenever you have an issue with Moxie, whenever you have a question on how to do something, whenever you have a problem with something not working correctly, I ask that you come to the hub and you do this ARP help button over to the left, all right? This button over to the right, this help button, you're going to see that on all the pages. That stuff goes directly to Moxie. You fall in line with hundreds of thousands of agents all over the country, and you're going to have to wait for them to get to you in queue. Please use the ARP help one on the hub or use one of these other tech support ways to contact tech support. You are my primary focus. The agents here at American Realty are my primary focus. So just know that this is going to be the best way to get the quickest service and the quickest answer to your question possible. All right. So from Hub, we get our menu across the top. And if you'll notice, there is now a button for Impress. And Impress is the name of what we call this marketing automation um, package that we use. So to access the marketing portal, you'll click Impress.
Okay. Now, the first time you go into this, you will have to acknowledge the terms of service. So just know that, that the terms of service, you have to scroll down, you have to accept them. If you see the terms of service, but you're not able to scroll all the way down, you may have to adjust your screen resolution so that you can see the different aspects of what um, is available for you to um, for you to read those and accept those. So that's going to be an important thing. Make sure that you do that. Once you do that, you will be able to go into um, this. Sorry, one second. Okay, you'll have to be able to do that in order to get in. If it asks you to create, a, create, create an account or something like that, there was a problem with the verification of those terms of service. So make sure you do that. Don't try to create an account. You're not going to be able to. So just know that if it kicks you to creating an account, please go back, contact tech support. Tell me that you've got an issue and we'll figure out what the problem is. All right. So once you're in the Impress portal, the marketing portal, you'll notice some items here. You've got your home, you've got your projects, you've got your designs, you've got your contacts, and you've got your listings. Here it shows your automated listings, and it's got one automatically populated for me. And then over here, it's got create new project, edit existing product, project, or get support. Again, this get support link goes straight to Moxie. Don't use this get support link. Use one of the others to contact me, and we'll be able to go from there. Okay, so the automated package you receive will look something like this when you come here. Um, you'll be able to see the different aspects of this particular listing package. You'll see that we can manage it. We can view it. And we can resend the latest marketing guide email. If for some reason you log in and you see that a package has already been created, but you never received an email, resend it to yourself. That way you can make sure that the emails are coming through the way they're supposed to. But for this, if I click on manage, it'll open up the various aspects of this particular listing. You'll notice it's got the information, it's pulled from the MLS, it's got the remarks, and it's got the listing images. Just know that the particular um, marketing piece you are creating may only use one picture. And as we go through this, you'll see what I mean by that. So I'm on this listing, if I go to view projects, this is what it has created for me for this particular project. 196 Southeast Mays Road. We have a just sold social post, just sold postcard, just sold e-postcard. We've got a just sold social post. Again, I've, re I've created this multiple times. So you see there's multiple ones that I've created here. But to give you an idea of what this looks like, I'll click on one. All right, this shows me that this is my social media design. This gives me the option to download the image or publish to web. When you click on publish to web, you're gonna get a link. That link is something you can post in social media or on your website, and it will link back to this particular social media design post. Or, you can download the image by clicking download image and it will download the image automatically for you to wherever you save items on your computer. And this is what this just sold marketing piece looks like. It's got the brand up, it's got the uh, headline up top, the address, the only picture that it selects, just remember you can change these. And then it's got other information here across the bottom. American Realty, and it's got our presented by, which is where your name would go and your information. So if you preview that and you notice that something doesn't look right, 
you've got the ability to edit that particular piece. What you see is the layout over here. It shows you that it only uses one photo. All right. So anytime you put a photo in here, you're going to have to replace the photo that's already there. We'll walk through that momentarily. But this just shows you what it's going to look like when you're done. You can put your project name in there. You can put your project description in there if there is one. And then here, yes, include the Equal Housing Opportunity logo. That has to be on everything we put out publicly. So just know that that is there. And then automatically crop photos when adding or rearranging. I would recommend doing that because it automatically puts the photo in the best crop size for that particular advertisement. Once you're fine with this, this is not something that goes on the particular advertisement. So this is just for your record. You click save and continue. And that's going to pull us to the pictures. Here's the one picture that we currently have. It only takes one photo. So I've got the ability here to view that photo in a larger size here. I can throw that photo away. I can replace that photo with another photo or I can crop that photo differently. All right. So if I come up here, you'll notice this says remove all or add photos. If I click add photos, it's not going to let me do anything. All right. Because it's already got one in it. I can't add another when it only needs one. So if I click on that particular photo, yes, it shows it to me, but I've got the ability to click on this replace. And then what I can do is I can pull from any project photos that may be there, any photos that I may have on my computer. It also links to Dropbox, et cetera. I can identify one of those photos, replace it here, and then that becomes the one photo that is on my uh, particular layout. Once I'm happy with my photo, I do save and continue. And then here's the text for the advertisement. Remember how it said just sold across the top? That's our headline. We can see where that goes over to the left. You see where it says street address, zip code, et cetera? That's gonna be this information, all right? And you'll notice when you hover over an area, it tells you the approximate number of characters that you have remaining without line breaks, all right? So that tells you that you can't hit enter in this box and you're limited to the number of things you can put in that box. Okay, so just know that there are limitations to the number of things that can be put in each box. And the reason it does that is because each particular sample or each particular marketing piece has a limitation so that it looks the best and everything has been designed so that it looks proper. All right, so we have the city, the state, the zip. We can put our sold price in here and the sold price label. Again, sold price label, and then the sold price beneath it. And you see all these others, these are the labels, and then the information that we put in these blanks is what's gonna go underneath these labels. So we have three beds, and we're labeling those bedrooms. We have two baths, we're labeling those bathrooms. One thing I want you to notice here about the 1,080 square feet, you'll notice that it's a different color. The reason is because if you look right here, I have no more characters remaining. That means I've reached the limit of that particular box. If I try to type any other characters in that box, it will not take them, all right? I've reached the limit of that particular box. Okay, so if I try to type in that box, nothing's going there. So just know that if you have something that needs to be put in here that you're still running out of room. You've got room to remove the comma. You've got room to abbreviate square foot as SF instead of SQFT. Just know there's a little bit more room there that you can pull out of it. You've got your lot size, your lot size label, your listing ID, your listing ID label. And this presented by is what goes right here where it says presented by agent name and license number. If you want to change it so that it doesn't say presented by, where it says sold by, or something like that, you've got the ability to do that. Just know that you've only got two more characters to use. 
So if I shorten presented by to sold by, I've still got seven to use. So whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, when you're done, you click save and continue. Then here's where it pulls in the information for you as a particular agent. I'm doing this through my team Moxie. So it's defaulting to the team name and we would put our license number if we need to as well. We can also put our team logo in here and it will co-brand. We'll have our team logo here and the American Realty logo there. And the logos are sized so that they remain in compliance with Greg. License law tells us that if we have a logo, in addition to the brokerage logo, it has to be smaller, the same size or smaller than the brokerage logo. This automatically does that for you. So you don't have to worry about violating any kind of license law with your logos. So just know you can put a personal logo there. You click save and continue. And then what that does is it just says, if you've made any changes to text or photos, you will need to rehost the project or reschedule the email to make your changes visible on the web. So this just tells you, hey, you've changed something that's got already active links. You may need to change those links in order for everything to update. Once you click OK on that, it again pulls up where we started. We can preview it, download it, or publish it directly to web. And what I want you to do is here, I'm previewing it. And if you'll notice, it now says sold by instead of presented by. Let me download this image real quick and I'll show you. You'll notice here now it says sold by instead of presented by. So where I changed that text, it changed it on the final advertisement. All right, so this is just an example of one of the automated projects that's created for you, and this will do this automatically. But if you say you want to create your own project, say you've sold a home, you're on the buyer side of things, and it's not going to create anything for you if you're on the buyer side of things, but you want to promote that as a just sold listing. What you can do is you can come here and create a new project. Once you start that process, it's going to ask you what you want to create. So say we're going to do a just listed, just sold, whatever we need, our open house, whatever we want. But we're going to do a just sold, but we're going to do it from the buyer standpoint. We click on that particular item. It tells us and confirms, and then we say select this design. We can name our project. We can put a description in here and we can put an MLS ID, all right? Since this is probably not gonna be active in here because you are on the buyer side and not the seller side, you can still enter the MLS ID and it should pull that information in for you and populate that information when you're moving forward. So I'm just going to leave that blank and go to save and continue. It says here, due to image size, it may take several minutes for the photo upload process to complete. Be sure to preview, preview your project, review all text and images prior to publishing. Some images in our text may have transferred, may not have transferred as expected. It's basically telling you, hey, look, this is an automated process. The computers do the best they can with the algorithms and everything that you upload. But there still may be times when things don't look the way they should. Always preview your work. Always make sure it looks the way you expect it to look before you commit to sending it by email or attaching it in social media. That is one of the biggest things I can recommend. So if I come here now and I say confirm, it's going to say, hey, we're going to create your project. It's pulling in that maze road information because that was the only project I had here. So it's pulling in that information. It would do the same thing for you if you entered that information. It's going to come to the photos for that particular thing. Again, I've got the ability to delete this photo, come in here, click on it, add a new photo. I can pull from our project photos. It's going to pull all of the photos from that particular project. Say I want to use this particular photo. 
I'll click on it, say add selected. That will now be the one photo that is used for this particular, this particular um, resource. Remember, it only allows you one photo in this layout. So I'll click save and continue. And here's where it comes to the text. I can enter in the sold price. I can make any of the changes. Again, you're limited to space, okay? Again, I can change any of this text in here so that it reflects what I want it to reflect for my marketing and my selling. Go to the next one. Again, the information, personal logo. And then it will create your final piece. And then here you can again download it or publish it to web. So if you're on the buyer side of things, you can still use this valuable tool. You just have to spend five minutes, literally five minutes, putting the information in there, pulling the information from MLS and getting it up and running and ready to go for your particular post. One thing I do want to show you, though, is on our create new projects, I do want to show you one of the other options that has multiple pictures. This just sold postcard. I want to show you how this looks different from the other ones. You'll notice here, this shows the design and it shows that we have three photos. We have a main photo and two other photos on the side. So everything looks very similar but it gives us the ability to add that third photo. Again, I can name my project, put in my project description. Now for project folder, you can come in here, you can create new folders, you can put anything in here that you want to organize. You cannot create subfolders. So just know you can only have primary main level folders. So here I've got a buyer folder, I might have a folder for this particular property. I might have an open house folder, however you want to organize it. But I'm going to put it in my buyer folder, and then I'm going to click Save and Continue. Same warning, image sizes may take several minutes. You'll notice it's going through this process, and it's loading all of the images that you've put in MLS. So you've got all of those to pick from. And here it picks three photos right off the bat to use for this particular piece. If you don't want to use one of these, like, hey, I don't want to use two sunset photos. So let's delete one, go to my add photos. We're going to pull our project photos in. We're going to say, okay, let's use this aerial of the back of the lot showing the dock, add selected. And then there, that pulls in my third picture. Again, I can't add photos if there's already the full limited amount. Once I've got those in, I click Save and Continue. And then here's where I can change my text. Again, you can change or customize any of this stuff. This also allows the body copy of this particular postcard. So just know you can customize this and it gives you a limited amount. Even with this much in here, which is how much was in MLS, I've got 208 characters left available. Just know that a space is considered a character. So 208 left includes letters, numbers, um, punctuation, and spaces. But it doesn't include enters or returns. So then I click Save and Continue. I've got this the way I want it. You'll notice there is more agent information on this particular postcard. So you put that information, make sure it is the way you want it to look. Here you can change the title. So if I'm doing it for the team and I want to do this, I can actually put my name in here with this one. Now, one thing I want you to know is it does everything in all caps a lot of times when you're typing this stuff in there. It doesn't give you the option for lowercase. That's fine, go with it. You can put your license number in here if you want to. You can also put your photo and a personal logo so that it gives you that ability to still co-brand and to put a picture of yourself if you want to on this particular branding piece. And you'll see how it shows the company logo, 
your personal logo co-branded, and then your agent picture down here. If I click save and continue, it creates my marketing piece for me. And it pulls me to my same particular area, but this time it shows download PDF. Okay, this is because with a postcard, you're going to want to print it. So you're going to download a PDF, then that will be uploaded to whatever you want to use to print it, or you'll take it to a printer to be printed. There are no printing yourself options or order through here yet, but just know you can download the PDF and then use that to print it for you. So here you're going to download a standard PDF. It basically walks you through how to download the file. Click OK. It's not participating with me tonight, so bear with me. Okay. Left click the link above. If you choose web page, right click it, click save image as, okay? Or if you choose PDS, hover your mouth over it, mouse over it, and then click the download icon near the upper right corner, all right? So you see where it says buyer to PDF. If I click on that, it will open that PDF. And this is what this particular postcard looks like. This is the back, and this is the other side. And this is where your postage would go. So it gives you both sides of the postcard. So you can print it off, download it, upload it to your printer, whatever you want to do with your three pictures that you've chosen. And then you've got a marketing item that you can send out for circle prospecting or whatever to market this particular uh, property or to just try to drive traffic to you and your brand. The good thing about present or excuse me about impress is it works seamlessly with everything that we've got going on. If I list a property today, by tomorrow morning, I'll have a package in my inbox saying, here's your marketing materials. If I come in here and I sell that property within four days, I'm going to have that that marketing package in my inbox, ready to go, ready to push out my just sold. It's all done for you, delivered to you on a silver platter. You don't have to think about it. Everything is brand specific. Everything is brokerage specific. Everything is GREC and uh, license law specific. So you don't have to worry about making any of those infractions that you may not be aware of as you push forward with your marketing and advertising. All right. That being said, are there any questions that you may have for me at this time? All right, super. This is a short class, 33 minutes. There's not much to impress because it does a lot of the work for you. I'm glad you joined me. We're going to video or we're going to take this video. We're going to upload it um, and they'll send a link out as well. So if you want to go back and watch it, you can. We are posting all of this on the um, knowledge base. And let me show you how to get to the knowledge base. If you go to this technical support link in the hub, when you come down to where it says visit and there's a link active there, if you click on that link, it will open the American Realty Professional Support. But down here, you've got your knowledge base. You've got the different videos and training things that we've already done put here. And that's where this will join. And then you'll have all the Moxie training together. Engage, present, all three website trainings, as well as a couple of other things that we found that were important. How to enter a domain redirect from GoDaddy, connecting Moxie to Zillow, things like that. So just know that knowledge base is going to be a good source where we constantly keep things updated, hopefully, to where if you need something, you can look there. If you still can't find what your answer is, send me a ticket. We'll get it addressed as quickly as we can. If there aren't any questions, I'm going to bid you adieu for the night. I see a chat. Do we have a question on chat? That's not. Hey, thanks, Dan. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good night. Thanks, Adam. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good night.